Breaking news, Stephen Moore is withdrawing his nomination from the Fed board. President Trump tweeting a moment ago, Steve Moore, a great pro-growth economist and a truly fine person, has decided to withdraw from the Fed process. Steve won the battle of ideas, including tax cuts and deregulation, which have produced non-inflationary prosperity for all Americans. I've asked Steve to work with me toward future economic growth in our country. Yahoo Finance's Jessica Smith is now joining us to break this down. So Jessica, what do we make of this? I mean, you were just talking to some politicians who were, who were mentioning, admitting that maybe he wasn't going to get uh, on the board through the nomination uh, process anyway. So does this change anything uh, for President Trump? Well, senators had been sending a message to the president over the past few days that they were not thrilled with Stephen Moore. They were not thrilled with this choice. Several Republican senators had expressed concerns about his past writings and his past comments, especially his controversial comments about women. Senator Joni Ernst had told us that she would oppose Moore's nomination if he were put up um, for a vote in the Senate. Uh, Senator Rob Portman told me yesterday that he did not think the president would even officially nominate Moore, and it looks like he was right. As you said, the president tweeting that Moore has withdrawn from consideration, and Maggie Haberman with the New York Times just tweeted a letter that Moore wrote the president, and in that letter he says he is honored and grateful to be considered, but he wants to withdraw his name because the unrelenting attacks on my character have become untenable for me and my family, and three months of this would be too hard on us, he says. But he goes on to say that he will continue to to be an advocate for the president's economic policy. So that matches up to what we heard from the president's tweet there when he said that Moore will continue to work with him on future economic growth for our country. So another one of President Trump's Fed picks is out of the running here. It wasn't very long ago that Herman Cain withdrew from this process after facing pushback from Republican senators as well. Hey, Jessica, so quick question. So as you just mentioned, Herman Cain also uh, withdrew in addition now to Stephen Moore. Are there any other names that are being floated around as potential replacements? I know this just happened, but <laughs> wondering yeah. who, who next? You know, everybody has been so consumed with these two names. That we haven't really heard other names floated recently. I think they were very concerned with, with stopping this nomination process, honestly. So we'll see what comes next. Well, when we're talking about President Trump, he might be uh, licking his chops on that one, but he does have some good news out. Americans are also grading President Trump's performance on the economy. Right. According to a recent CNN poll, 56% say he's doing a good job there. Uh, that would be, I believe, an all-time high for him, especially as we talk about the economy and the state uh, where it's at right now. So, Jessica, what's your take on that? Is that at least something that President Trump might be able to take as a victory? I mean, I think the president will definitely take this as a victory. You know, there it's a reminder that there are people all over the country who aren't necessarily following along with every single controversy that we hear about here in Washington. And as you mentioned, this is the highest it's been. The previous high was 55 percent back in March of 2017. And the economy is the president's strongest issue, according to this poll. The other approval ratings on other issues are all below 50 percent. And that's what we hear a lot from Republican lawmakers who are on the Hill. They say, look at the economy. Economy, look at your paycheck, look at your job prospects. That's what voters are going to care about when they go to the polls in 2020. And, you know, just on a personal note, I went home to Indiana on the very weekend that the redacted Mueller report came out. And I didn't run into a single person who cared about the Mueller report. So I think that's a good reminder to get out of the D.C. bubble to really see what people are focused on as they consider their options for this next election. Absolutely. And we talk about uh, worker productivity in this country hitting a highest rate since 2010 as well. So if, if the economy is strong, you've got to think that that might play into how the country, especially as you mentioned, in other parts of the country, view right. President Trump right now. All right, Jessica Smith from Washington, D.C., thanks so much.